To learn more about digital kurbani, uh, today we are now connected with Dom Pet Duafa Republika Foundation Business Operations Support Director, Pak Prima Hadi Putra. Good morning, Pak Putra. Can you hear us? Good morning. Good morning. Very nice. Good morning. Thank you for joining yeah, yeah. us. Um, okay, enough of before we begin, maybe you could explain um, to us about the Tebar Hewan Kurban Program, Pak Putra. Well, thank you very much. Uh, back in the day, in 1994, mm -hmm. our founders uh, thought that uh, how to distribute kurban more uh, effectively. While okay. at that time, maybe until now, uh, we still uh, found that many surpluses of meat of uh, kurban mm -hmm. uh, in the city. So we thought more to how to spread it to the rural areas so the people who are not uh, enjoying the meat of the kurban uh, could be uh, more enjoy and celebrate the eat itself. Mm -hmm. So um, aside from uh, using digital based technology, what makes digital kurbani different from others? Are there any global shipping um, options? Yeah, well, one of the characteristic of the Tebar Hewan Kurban programs it is we uh, empower the local farmers and as the result of the empowerment efforts, uh, we absorb uh, the cattle or the uh, as the outcome of the program. So there is no mobilizations mm. of the cattle or the animal from the farmers to the city. Mm. It was uh, slaughtered in the local area. So uh, by using this, uh, we could minimize the risk of the animal of being infected. I see. Now, Paputra, if we use the digital kurbani, how do we make sure that um, you know, um, how can we monitor the um, process of um, the kurban itself? Uh, first of all, uh, regularly, Dompe Duafa uh, doing uh, the socializations to all the farmers mm -hmm. uh, okay. about how to uh, have a good governance in farming. So, uh, we have, uh, for example, a routine uh, checking uh, by the veterinarians and then also giving the nutrition to the mm. cattle itself. Mm. So uh, by, by the operation like that, we also using a platform of technology, uh, IoT, to, to uh, check, regularly checking the condition of the animal. So by doing uh, this kind of effort and the help of digital platforms, we can do the monitoring more effectively. Paputra, uh, the National uh, Disaster Management Agency, or uh, here in Indonesia, we we know as BNPB, has raised alarm about the foot and mouth disease. How can Dompet Duafa ensure the quality of the korban cattle in this case? So, our farmers in the uh, uh, every farm that Dompet Duafa manage. Mm -hmm. Uh, have a coordination with the local authority uh, and then uh, the local veterinarians, they do the regular checking and then we always do the uh, educations to our farmers about uh, the recent conditions about the uh, mold and nail uh, disease. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, uh, we also think that uh, this is the efforts of how we could local, uh, localize the animal itself, mm. non protect uh, the animals from the disease. Mm, I see. Okay. Now, pa, um, pa Putra, can you talk more about the digital kurban um, as it's been going for um, several years? Which age group um, uses digital kurban the most? Well, in terms of uh, the donors, the Donors in Dompe Duafa itself is major. Right, uh, the majority is come from the millennials itself. The millennials, the millennials, millennials. Is around sixty percent mm. from uh, the populations of donors. Well, the rest uh, come from the baby boomers. So uh, this is a very 
a very good phenomena that we saw many young philanthropists is increasing, especially from the millennials. Well, uh, it's it's actually interesting to see that baby boomers are now uh, <laughs> looking pretty much more tech savvy, yeah. and they're doing all the digital things uh, aside from the millennials, of course. But um, how is the response uh, so far, Paputra? Is there um, anything that uh, we could celebrate uh, uh, from the initiative? I think the response is uh, very, uh, uh, but dominantly is very positive. Why? Because they saw the positive impact uh, of the digital kurban. Uh, they are more sure about the security of the cattle and uh, I think uh, they, they, they're more confident because there is no uh, uh, cattle mobilization that mm of the uh, the spread of the diseases so by the concept of the tabarkan kurban itself where the cattle is distributed in the locations of the empowerment uh, this is very very good interesting things for the millennials and also for the majority of our donors mm -hmm. so we're going to see the number increasing also in yeah, the yeah, Genzi, yeah. right of course, because of they're course. They are coming um, as well. Now, um, we want to know about the strategies um, from Dompet Duafa in dealing with a number of donation fund frauds. Oh, and that's we know true. That because been, recently we yeah, saw we saw this one case yeah. on, um, you know... Social uh, media. Yes, yeah, social course. media in the social media about this fund being, uh, you know, being used for yeah. other costs. And not transparent about Not this. transparent. Yeah, maybe you can talk more about the strategies from Dompet Duafa to maintain this um, public trust. Yeah. Well, Dompet Duafa itself uh, is audited by the uh, KAP, Qatar Open Public Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So it's doing regularly since our the establishment of Dompet Duafa in 1993. So we got an uh, unqualified uh, opinion that mm -hmm. means wajar tanpa pengecualian. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the effort internally how we uh, make our organization strive transparency to all mm. of the uh, stakeholders. So, uh, back internal itself, we, we make sure that all the uh, operations is doing more transparent, is effective, and uh, guided by the Sharia compliance yeah. and also yeah. uh, works by uh, the governance. So, I think by doing this kind of good um, uh, governance, mm -hmm. uh, following all the guidance mm -hmm. from the government and also open uh, all the access of information to all the stakeholders is our is the part of our efforts to make these organizations more transparent. Mm -hmm. nice. mm -hmm. nice. Alright, so that is actually a um, an assurement for us yeah. that Dombe Duafa is actually uh, doing uh, uh, good things with our fund. Uh, being raised and uh, probably digital kurbani is um, one new thing that we should anticipate but um, how can you give the tips and tricks for us to uh, make the best use of digital kurbani Paputra? Well, actually, digital kurban is one of the efforts to give ease to the uh, donors or mm -hmm. kurban uh, to doing their activity of ibadah this year. So, mm. uh, just use the facilities uh, that make ease of our intentions to do the uh, worship uh, this year. And uh, I think a lot of platforms now uh, and Dope Duafa has provided uh, how to uh, just make a good bug just from one click from our, uh, our specific and purpose uh, uh, platforms and websites. So uh, you can also follow the process by uh, uh, listening and also accepting all the reports in every single stage of the during the uh, slaughter process nice. so when i think this is a, a very good to try for uh, everyone who doesn't uh, know the bedwava yet just follow uh, the websites of the bedwava 
Okay. Right. Paputra, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank it's you, Paputra. Very early in the morning. Thank you, house. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank Thanks you. for having Obedwama. Yes, thank and also luck, happy Idolado for you in the upcoming <laughs> week. And Thank so you. that yes, was yes. Uh, uh, Pak Putra from Dompet Duafa and apparently uh, everything that uh, you want to do in this digital era, yeah. you can actually uh, <laughs> uh, easily access this yeah. uh, with uh, the comfort of, uh, of your fingers. Betul. Ibadah with um, digital, digital age ibadah. Yes, digital age ibadah. <laughs>